In this tutorial, we're going to look at the three connection methods available for use with Filmic Remote V3 and Filmic Pro in more detail, and cover the pros and cons of each. If you're yet to learn how to use Filmic Remote V3, you might want to check out my Jumpstart tutorial first by clicking the card in the top corner, then revisit this video. There are three ways to connect Filmic Remote to a device running Filmic Pro. The first is to use an established Wi-Fi network. Simply join your device running Filmic Remote and your device running Filmic Pro to the same Wi-Fi network from the Settings menu. The pros of using an established Wi-Fi network include its ease of use and connection range that mirrors your Wi-Fi network coverage. Cons include some routers may block the video streaming, especially on lockdown networks, and low-end routers may not have the required throughput for low latency monitoring. The second option is to use a peer-to-peer -peer network by enabling Wi-Fi on both devices, then disconnecting from any pre-established Wi-Fi networks by opening Settings, Wi-Fi, and tapping the Info button and selecting Forget This Network. With both devices disconnected from established networks, they'll be able to connect directly to each other. Pros include not needing an established Wi-Fi network, which is perfect for shooting in remote locations. Cons include limited range, maxing out at about 15 feet. The third option is to use a cabled Ethernet connection. To do this, you'll need a router capable of acting as a DHCP server with two or more Ethernet ports, and an Apple USB 3.0 Lightning adapter and USB Ethernet adapter for each device. Simply connect the USB 3.0 lightning adapter to each iOS device. Then connect the USB Ethernet adapter to it along with a power source as many USB Ethernet adapters do require a power source to run. The Ethernet cable should be connected to your router. If you open iOS settings, you'll see the Ethernet section available and can either automatically get an IP address from the router or choose to give each iOS device a manual IP address. Pros include latency-free monitoring and extended range of up to 90 meters on a single cable. Cons include added bulk of using required adapters and cables and needing to access power for your router. Thanks a lot for watching, and if this tutorial helped, remember to like and subscribe to Epic Tutorials and Filmic Pro for more.